Evo Workforce Scheduler is a PaaS solution that has been built on Oracle PaaS. It integrates with Oracle HCM. It can also integrate with other HR systems such as SAP or Oracle products such as planning and forecasting to support with the end-to-end -end service of employees. Today, we're going to talk through some of the key features. To the left-hand side here, you can see what an employee would see in logging in. So it will show the number of hours that they've been scheduled, what hours they've worked productively so far, any non-productive hours where it's brought through areas such as annual leave. It would also show any um, punching violations that may be set up in line with your rules. So here, um, someone hasn't punched in, it could be you're using biometric system or that they're logging in through the system, but they've missed to um, record their hours for that day. Or it could be they're looking to depart early, so they've asked their manager for permissions for that. So down the bottom here, it will show them the shifts of what it is that they've got scheduled and the actuals that they've worked to date. Over to the right hand side, um, it gives the ability for you to log in um, on the system and the time recording, and that can be done from mobile phones or from laptops. To the right hand side here, we show actions that need to be approved by um, the manager or the individual in relation to timesheets. And further down, managers can start to see details about their particular team. So in here, it would record if someone has got an absence coming up um, or whether somebody may have walked short, worked short or long hours, for example, at some period of time. That will show on a dashboard to the managers. Further down to the right hand side here, is where an individual may need to take action for their team. And that could be because somebody has asked for annual leave um, or there is a member of staff who's off sick or alternatively, they may have asked to swap shifts. So there's a number of areas of functionality that can be driven by the employee and the manager. What we're going to look at first is how to um, roster. So from either a line manager or a timekeeper's point of view, depending on how you have responsibilities, rolled out across your organisation, there's lots of flexible ways in which you can roster your staff. The first area where we're going to look at is in relation to demand. So what we can do is um, publish a number of templates for demand. Now what this will do, it will enable you to understand where you might be over or under in relation to the roster that you require for that day. So if we just put, pick a standard template for now that I've rostered earlier. Okay. So this may be something that you do a year in advance, a month in advance, or it could be that you're running rosters um, on a weekly basis, depending on your business rules. The system has flexibilities to deal with those different areas. So what we can see here is um, I have got rostered um, for 36 um, hours to be filled and at the moment I don't have anybody undertaking it. So the system will start to show where you're over demand or under demand, other way around, over or under demand. So in this case I have a drainage engineer who um, we are missing for Wednesday uh, the 4th of April. So what that will enable me to do shortly is to go and see how I can quick roster for that particular day in order to get some staff available. Other ways that you can look at this are by cost centre. So if you're wanting to look at it as a complete team, or if you have organisations in field services where they may be um, spread geographically and you might want to look at hotspots that are taking place here, then obviously you can do that. Now, these types of information for demand templates can be set up in a number of different ways. They can come through from your forecasting system, so they're set up automatically. You can create templates yourself, or we can apply logic to the system that enables rules to um, populate the actual rosters yourselves throughout the system. So as you can see here, there's a number of different ways that you could actually look at the information. What we're going to do next is just say how we would quick roster. So let's take the example of the 4th of April. So I want to um, get somebody in. Cost centre of maintenance, work location, let's say central London. Uh, and then let's do a new. And the job that we are looking for is a drainage engineer. 
and we need a day 12 hour shift. And in this case, I'm actually going to say I want more than we need. I'm going to say we need 20. And the reason that I'm doing that is that I want to show you the functionality that the system has. So straight away on here, you can see how many people are available to roster. And if you wanted to choose George, then you can um, de-click all the other people and submit. And George will automatically be sent his roster, which will go through on the system and on his mobile phone or via email, depending on how you want it to send through. The other area that's important to notice here is it says open eight. So obviously I asked for 20 FTE and it's only been able to find me 12. So in this open eight, if I click on this functionality, what that will do is it will then pub publish open shifts. What this will mean is that everybody who meets the criteria, so they are a drainage engineer, they are in the right location, they will receive an email and also a notification on their mobile to find out if they would like to work overtake, undertake overtime in order to fulfill that shift. From a line manager or timekeeper point of view, obviously you'll be able to track and see as people accept those shifts um, and therefore your rostering is completed. There are other ways that quick roster can be done as well. So if you've got to a day point of view and, and somebody is phoned off sick, then obviously you could go to quick roster in order to find out who is available. Now, system can um, show in a number of different ways how rosters are looking and whether that's by a week or whether it's by a month or in a moment we'll look at by a day. But what's um, useful to understand here is there's lots of quick functionality as to how you can roster people. So here you can just quickly remove someone or you could choose to copy a shift. So it might be the shift that we have in for Abraham here is appropriate for another three to four people. Then you can choose copy shift and it will open up the screen and enable you to choose people that you want to apply that shift to. You may want to understand on the day whether you have enough staff rostered for the demand of your business. So on here, where you've got information that's coming through regularly from your forecasting system, you can see that the number of numbers of staff that we've got isn't quite meeting the demand for the day. So if we were to go in um, to try to find more people, we could do quick roster as we did before. There's also functionality if you just want to swap people shifts around in order to maybe um, free up people in other areas. So if we went here just as an example um, to find an alternative resource for this shift, then again, you'd be able to quickly find um, somebody who's available in that stage. And it might be you want to swap people around in certain areas in order to free staff up in other places. In most of this workforce schedule, it comes with a number of standard reports um, that we've built up. <clears throat> An example of these are some manager dashboards, timesheet and productivity dashboards, but also there are particular reports that might want to look at um, cost centre or violation submissions. Here I've just got an example of one of the reports that's available on the dashboard. So here, nice and easily, a manager or a timekeeper can see by individual their schedule and actual hours worked. And if we scroll down here, we can start to see that for the team in which we have access for. If costs and everything are maintained, then obviously it will, this will start to build up here. But you can clearly see the breakdown of the hours that's been taken. Alternatively, it can be um, displayed at cost center level. We can also look at reports that track demand versus schedule versus actual and how that works over a period of time to change, which will help in the future in relation to forecasting. So there's lots of capabilities that are available to design um, dashboards for managers and key users. Annual leave can be managed in a number of different ways, depending on whether you're wanting to bring that information through from your HR system, then every single recording and show in here as to when the annual leave is taking place. Or alternatively, you can actually use your rostering system to capture everything. So as an individual, I can go in and create a request and ask um, to take annual leave. So within here, I can put annual leave and put in the days and start times or if there's specific days that I want to cover. If I go into here, it will enable me to click on the days as long as I put my start date in. And that will then go through to the manager for approval. Or alternatively, we can have rules set in the system that can look at the forecast and the demand and look at other people who are on your leave. And then you can have rule sets as to whether you would automatically approve that or not. So there's lots of um, variations as to how that can be set up for you. 
But if we take it through as an example that it goes to the manager for approval, so if I click on here, they will show me that a request has come through. And what I can also see is on that day, other people that are due to take um, leave. So then straight away, I can consider whether that means that leaves me below what my um, team needs to be in order to demand with the daily calls that may come through. So nice and easily to be managed on there. There are other areas that can also be dealt with on here. So how you record your sickness. Um, and information can be captured on here and also whether individuals want to swap shifts or request um, to leave early or to leave late. So all of that functionality is built within the system to enable you um, to manage your workforce productive, effectively. Hopefully you found this overview useful today. If you would like any further information at any point, um, please contact us at evosisglobal.com. Thank you.